All right, hey everyone, this is Shifty. Uh, normally, I would uh, uh, write a quick script on these videos, but um, I haven't really had the time. I went to New York Comic Con for all four days, for every hour of all those days, and also worked at my job uh, for some of those days, and including the last couple of days. So I've been pretty swamped lately, but here I am. And I wanted to come to you guys, not about my business, but basically about a very specific topic that I wanted to talk about. Uh, so, the v name of the video is uh, the Nintendo Switch 2018 and beyond. And there's a reason for that. So, basically, we saw how the Switch has been doing in 2017 so far, where your, the launch has been going great, it's selling really well. And it has a ton of games coming out with Breath of the Wild being, in my opinion, Game of the Year contender so far. Uh, ARMS, which is having a bit of a rocky start, but is a game I personally enjoy a lot. Splatoon 2, Mario Odyssey should be releasing soon. Some great third-party support in the form of Doom. Uh, Resident Evil, Ally Noir. Uh, we also have Pokken and Fire Emblem Warriors releasing around the same time. So... There's a lot, oh, and Mario Plus Rabbids, let me not forget about that game, because that game was really good too. So, the point I'm bringing up is, in other than what I believe is just a new mainline Fire Emblem game, and possibly a Pokemon, I'm not sure if they were completely sure that I was releasing, they didn't seem to be confident on that, but uh, 2017 is going so well for Nintendo. So well, in fact, that I'm a little bit worried because we have a 3D Mario, uh, a full Legend of Zelda experience, Splatoon 2, uh, a new IP, all within the same year. There's a lot of surprises, you know, you don't norm normally see Nintendo with a new IP, and Splatoon 2, 3D Mario, and Zelda are all heavy hitters these days, so what else can Nintendo do from here? Uh, now, obviously, they have a lot of IPs. They are a company that I believe, personally, out of the big three, they have the most properties uh, that are exclusive to them that they can rely on. Uh, but I just feel that in terms of the general population, in terms of not Nintendo fans, but just people outside of the circle, people outside of everything, there's not much that they have from this point forward. Now, I'm going to play Fire Emblem. You know, I'm a, uh, I'm a big Fire Emblem fan. Other than Fates, which was a rocky game, in my opinion. It wasn't uh, as good as a lot of the other games. Uh, I love Fire Emblem. I'll be playing Fire Emblem Warriors, for instance, when that releases. But my problem is that once 2018 starts... Uh, what is Nintendo going to do to try to continue winning over the general public? Because the Switch itself is selling off of its idea, which is great. But, you know, games like Zelda, games like Mario, and for Japan specifically, games like Splatoon 2 sell to the console. ARMS, games like ARMS and Mario Plus Rabbids and uh, Pokken, they don't really sell the console, but they're practically extras. And Fire Emblem, I believe, pers I personally believe, fits into that criteria. Fire Emblem doesn't really appeal to a general market, but something like, say, maybe, po like, Pokemon definitely does. Pokemon is basically one of those. And I believe Mario Kart is too. But again, a lot of their big franchises that appeals to a general public was released within 2017 for the most part. Uh, Fire Emblem is not uh, something that is loved by the general public, more something that's specific to Nintendo fans or just fans of Fire Emblem. Uh, and let's just say, hypothetically speaking, Metroid Prime 4 released in 2018, which I doubt. But if it did, it would be a huge deal to gamers or fans of Nintendo. But once again, Metroid is not a franchise that uh, appeals to the general public that much. So... What can Nintendo do for the Nintendo Switch 2018 and beyond? Well, for starters, uh, I think Animal Crossing would be a huge help. Uh, Animal Crossing is one of those franchises that 
I think appeals to the general public more than it does gamers, which is a weird thing to say. But I don't have the numbers. I'm not looking at it. This is pretty much an impromptu uh, opinion piece. But I think Animal Crossing appeals more to people who don't normally play video games on a whim. Uh, I know parents who never play video games play Animal Crossing and the same went for like certain DS games back in the day like the Nintendogs and stuff like that or Cookie Mama. So I think Animal Crossing is something that would definitely help and while they went over the gamers with like Metro Prime 4 <laughs> You know, um, Fire Emblem and all that stuff. It, I feel like Animal Crossing is one that will actually help a lot in terms of that stuff. Uh, and we also have to remember that uh, Retro Studios is has been pretty quiet for quite some time. Uh, I don't know if that means we're going to get a new Donkey Kong or something else. Uh, maybe some kind of Mario game could be... Uh, on the way like a sports game because let's face it anything with Mario in the title more or less sells uh, So it could just be like a sports game from Camelot even though I want them to make a Golden Sun game They're not going to make a Golden Sun game and look for me personally myself. I'm still hyped past 2017 Because what I know is coming. I know there's a new Fire Emblem. I like Fire Emblem a lot I know there's No More Heroes, and I fucking love No More Heroes. And same goes for Metroid Prime, although I don't know when that's going to release at all. Uh, so Metroid Prime 4 and No More Heroes are games that I'm like just incredibly excited for, with games like Fire Emblem and a possible Animal Crossing, if that were to happen, as something for me to just generally be interested in and want to play. Uh, and you know that new Yoshi game and that new Kirby game looks great and all but I never considered them to be reasons for me to buy a Nintendo console although uh, I do usually enjoy them so I suppose just let me know what you think uh, if you're watching this video and maybe you think I'm kinda exaggerating uh, the problem Nintendo might have with 2018 because it's just suddenly, like, looking at it at face value, it looks like Nintendo is just firing on all cylinders for 2017 and to try to get the Switch to sell. Uh, they still have heavy hitters. I'm just hoping they're spread out a little bit more. And that might sound weird because, you know, you want more games as much as possible. But I'm just hoping that they give themselves enough legroom to, once they release these games... They have more down the pipeline without ever having a dry season so yeah just let me know what you guys think maybe i'm over exaggerating maybe i'm maybe i'm a little too worried about the whole thing and it, I, there's no reason for me to be worried uh comment you know all that good stuff and uh you I, my channel is normally opinion pieces so hey if you think uh that you like this kind of discussion if you think uh, what I might what I might have to say is a little interesting, you know, why not subscribe? You know, I don't ask for much, but a subscription would help me out a bunch. And we can keep this conversation going. Check out my other videos if you want. I don't really give a shit. But at the same time, I kind of do. So I'm going to take that statement back. <laughs> uh, this is Shifty, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Later. Hey, buddy. I'm tired. To you. Thanks for coming out. Pay your tab and screw. Make like a drum and beat it. Make like a tree and leave. All your fellas and Cinderella's, I'm giving you the heat. Get the fuck out of here.